Hey guys, it's Asher from The Technique here. This is the LG K10. It's my daily driver, but recently it was dropped in the water when I went fishing. So, this is a detailed repair guide if something like this ever happens to you. In the description, I have a great cheap website that sells nearly all OEM parts, other than the motherboard. The phone is pretty easy to repair compared to some of the LG flagships like the G6 or the V30. Because it has a removable back and just simple Phillips head screws, the rest just clip off. Start by of course turning off the phone, removing the battery, SIM and SD card. The only tools that will be needed in this video is a small, preferably magnetic Phillips head screwdriver, a leverage tool like a guitar pick or credit card, even a plastic knife, some tweezers and a small flathead screwdriver. Start by removing the 11 screws around the phone. Get your leverage device, the guitar picks usually work the best, and then start working your way around the phone trying to lever the middle support thing up. Now that we've taken off the middle cover, we have access to the motherboard and all the components attached to it like the camera, the headphone jack, the loudspeaker, etc. And these components sort of clip on and off really easily and this is where the Phillips, sorry, the um, flathead screwdriver comes in because you can put that under there and wedge it up and it just clips on and off. There's no screws generally required. The camera doesn't have optical image stabilization, but I am surprised to see how much give there is around with that ribbon cable. I can kind of move it back and forward very easily. Now I'll be disconnecting all the ribbon cables so we just have the motherboard itself. Here's the motherboard. The only thing left would be the display and attach the earpiece and the vibration motor, along with some heat sinks and a couple other chips underneath. Here's the display more close up. I could have taken off the earpiece, the front camera and the vibration motor, but I just thought that it would be a bit hard because that would mean splitting apart even more adhesive. Now I'll start to reassemble the phone, first by putting on all of those small modules that connect that just clip on really easily, such as the camera, the headphone jack and etc. 